Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another new video. It's 4 a.m. and I cannot sleep, so let's talk about uh, login managers. Uh, no whiskey today. Got some uh, brownies here. Perfectly normal. Nothing weird about them at all. So I guess before we can talk about login managers, we should talk about what my setup on Arch looks like. Whenever I installed Arch, I didn't install a login manager. Like I've used plenty of login managers before. I ran Manjaro dual boot on my old MacBook before I switched to Linux. And I've used like Ubuntu and stuff like that off and on. Never really like used it daily driver type territory. And most of the things that run exclusively Linux in my house other than my main system now are servers. There's a Plex server, there's a Nextcloud server. Both of those run uh, Ubuntu server. So there is no Xorg install, anything like that. No need for a login manager. Actually, let me just exit out of awesome and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. The uh, screen resolution is gonna be weird. The minute VM, that's kind of the best way that I know to show what we're doing here. So normally when I boot into my system, it'll load Grub, pull up Arch Linux, start the uh, like boot process, check the drives, do everything it normally does. And then I have this down to a bit of a science. So I type in my my username, type in my password, and then I'm in. Um, again, the screen resolution's weird in the VM. Basically what happens is I've just sort of got like a muscle memory where I type my password in and then I immediately hit S enter. Uh, and what that does, if I take a look at my Zeesh config, is uh, I aliased start X, which is the command you use to run your X in it RC, which is where I have Ezek Awesome set up to run. So whenever I log in, it's basically opening me into the TTY, into a shell, and then I immediately hit S. That's running start X. Start X is reading my X in it RC, and then executing Awesome and logging me into Awesome. So I, I did that for long enough that I got the muscle memory there, and it sort of seemed like anything else I used would be like slower, and I don't know, worse, like maybe it'd be more user-friendly, but I just kept like making excuses for why not to use a window manager, and it's like, oh, well, it's way faster than anything else will be, and then I was like, oh, well, maybe it's more secure, because not just anyone would know how to log into my uh, computer. <laughs> And even if they knew my password, then maybe they probably wouldn't know to run start X unless they're also a, a Linux user and like a sort of Arch Linux user that doesn't use a login manager, which I imagine is a small minority of people. Uh, I don't know. That kind of all seems like bull. So I've got some window managers to take a look at here. Uh, the first, which uh, seems like it'll be really up my alley. It's uh, called LY. It's a TUI uh, display manager, login manager, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it sort of prides itself on not using systemd at all, which is fine. I don't really care about systemd, but it's just a very, very simple login manager. All you need to do if you're on Arch, um, if you're on uh, a different distribution, you might have to build it from source and it tells you all the dependencies here. No, whoop, tells you all the dependencies there. And then you just clone and, you know, make all that stuff. But if you're on Arch, uh, it is in the AUR. We can do yay dash S and install LY. It installs just like anything else in the AUR. You have to hit no and yes a few times and then you're uh, all set. It's a, again, it's fairly lightweight. So it installs really quickly. Once you have that, you do sudo systemctl enable ly.service. It'll create a symlink and uh, we're all set, right? Well, yeah, if we exit right now, it'll go into LY. Um, also, if you open up another terminal and you run LY, it'll sort of show you this preview version of it. And you can sort of see how it works. Uh, we control it using the arrow keys. Uh, we can pick all of our different desktop environments right here. Um, I only have Awesome installed, so it just gives me the option to run Awesome, run my Xnet RC actually, or uh, boot into a shell. TTY, same thing I was doing before. So that's, that's like a nice feature to have. Not every login manager has a way to just boot into the TTY instead of using a desktop environment or a window manager. So weirdly enough, this is like sort of the most lightweight and simple login managers, but in a weird way, it also kind of has more features. Interesting. Uh, and then you just give it the password in your end. I mean, it's not gonna happen in this like preview window here, but whenever we exit, that's how it'll work. Uh, what I did wanna show you is there is a config for this app. So if we go into sudo invim, and I think it's at CLY config.ii and there's a few little settings you can do so for example uh we can change the delimiter character that password uses if we comment out this hashtag thing and uh, instead we want to use an asterisk that is easy to do now when we're typing in the password we're using asterisks instead of those little circles uh, also by default like ly uses this sort of border around the uh, info that it's giving you um that's sort of what it looks like by default but once you have the option to turn that off i mean it's kind of cool that you can i'll leave it there for now doesn't really matter um you can change the background color the foreground color that kind of stuff i think it just uses the terminal colors so like one through nine i think of the terminal colors and like one's black one's white red blue green all that nonsense um so that's cool that you can change that even if it is limited to a few colors there's an animation 
thing that you can do. It'll just sort of set stuff on fire. And I, I don't mean that like it's gonna break anything. It'll just literally set stuff on fire. That's interesting. I mean, honestly, let's just quit out of uh, awesome and test this out and see if it works. We might have to do, um, we did do CTL to enable uh, ly but we might also have to do sudo system ctl start ly.service oh yeah and there we go goes ahead and starts and we can go ahead and type in our password and we're in presumably if we quit back out of awesome we'll be right back into that login manager so that's cool i think that's sort of the path that i'll take but i can see why that wouldn't be ideal for some people so what i also want to take a look at is a uh, light dm if i were to search for the light dm github page this is like a pretty popular uh, login manager that people use. It's relatively lightweight compared to a lot of other things and a lot of different distributions use it because there's a bunch of different ways to theme it. You can theme it with GTK, you can theme it with this WebKit thing, which is what we're gonna look at. So it's cool, It's it's, I think, a lot of people are served by this because it is super versatile and you can have three different people running LightDM and it's totally possible that you wouldn't recognize it as LightDM. Um, there's a lot of customization options, which I like. It's also not terribly lightweight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the LightDM WebKit 2 Greeter themes. These are themes that are actually written in HTML and CSS and probably some JavaScript. Like you might be able to include other stuff in it as well. But because these are so easily manipulatable, I mean, like there's way more people that know HTML and CSS than I would argue there are that know CSS or, you know, whatever language a lot of the other elements operating systems are built on. Um, but anyways, if we take a look at this LightDM WebKit 2 Greeter link that I have in the description, it should be the second link in the description right underneath LY. We have basically just a big list of uh, WebKit themes. Um, so I just sort of opened up a few of these so that we could take a look at some of the options. Um, so here's kind of a cool one. A lot of them have a way that you can sort of live demo the login manager, like on a website or something. So this one's cool. It's got like ways to switch the users, ways to switch between the window managers. There's all sorts of customization and things in it. Uh, I've got another one here. Let's see, what is this? This is a gradient type thing. Assuming you can change the gradient and maybe the background color on this border here, that could be cool too. Uh, what else have we got here? Got this thing here, Osmos. It's kind of cool, I guess. I guess we'll just pick one of these and go from there, but I'll leave this whole thing, this uh, GitHub page right here listed so that you can sort of browse through some of them. I mean, this isn't even close to all of the WebKit 2 themes, but you know, you get the idea. You can make your own. It's HTML and CSS. Relatively easy to figure out. Uh, I guess we'll just pick this first one here. Glorious, a LightDM WebKit 2 theme. So uh, what do we need to do? We need to install LightDM and the LightDM WebKit 2 greeter. Easy enough. Uh, actually, first of all, let's go ahead and do sudo systemctl disable ly.service. Oh, you gotta spell things correctly or it won't work. And then we do sudo systemctl stop ly.service, which will probably make me have to restart. Let's see. Yeah, uh, no big deal. Uh, you probably don't have to actually run the stop command, uh, but I just want to make sure that whenever we switched over to using LightDM, we're not going to run into any w issues with it still trying to load ly instead. So uh, these should both be in Pacman. So we'll do sudo pacman s lightdm and lightdm webkit greeter2. Then we need to enable lightdm.service the same way that we did ly. So let's do sudo systemctl enable lightdm. Service. Now after that, we can install this theme. It is in the AUR actually. So we can just copy that little bit right there. Yay dash SYU install the LightDM WebKit 2 theme glorious. Let that do its thing. Uh, and then we need to edit the Etsy slash LightDM LightDM config. So let's go into sudo invim Etsy LightDM LightDM.conf. And what are we gonna edit here? We're gonna look for greeter session and we wanna change this over to light dm webkit 2 greeter i think originally it says light dm gtk something like that and i'm not too worried about testing it because much like ly if we open up another terminal and we type in what do we need to type in here we need to do light dm dash dash something test mode test mode dash dash debug uh we can load a preview of light dm and also it'll give us a whole bunch of stuff uh like output telling us what's going on what it's loading what configs it's loading and all that kind of stuff so then what we need to do is we need to go into the etsy lightroom light dm webkit 2 greeter config so that's actually in the same uh folder etsy light dm light dm config and you can see we've got two items here the light dm config and the light dm webkit 2 greeter config once you've done that you need to find webkit theme and set its value to glorious okie dokie and you need to set the theme to 
glorious. And then we need to also find the debug mode and make sure that is set to true. It's set. Okay, come back over here, run our light DM test again. Hey, now we're in business. So I guess let's just um, quit out of here, quit out of awesome entirely and see what happens. Uh, okay, so again, the screen resolution is kind of weird here, but if we just hit space, it will give us the option, to pull a profile picture and all sorts of stuff here. We have the option to sort of edit some backgrounds and you can put these into a folder. If you want to add your own, you have themes, you can control like the, the blur strength of the, uh, the background here. You can control the foreground, color in the background, color the animation speed. Uh, once you're in here, if you have more than one user, you can select users really easily. You can change uh, window managers and desktop environments really easily. Like I said, I only have one installed, but I can imagine that being a pretty cool setup for a lot of people. And it does look really, really nice, pretty polished. Oh, and then if you hit power, you also have the option to uh, hibernate, suspend, reboot, shut down, all that good stuff. Then what we want to do, we're going to type in our password here. And importantly, it does work as a, uh, a login manager. It logs us into our system. And now we are back in awesome. Uh, and so if we take a look here, you can add more backgrounds to user slash share slash backgrounds. So that's what I was talking about before. Uh, and in order to get that um, image to show up the way they had display, you just need to install an app called Mugshot. Um, what you can do is, I think it's in the AUR, so yay-s and install Mugshot. And then if you just run it, it'll bring up a window and allow you to put in a lot of um, information. Like you can put in a full name for your account, you can add a photo, all that kind of stuff, uh, which is cool. I mean, it's sort of weird to be just handing over data to your computer, and in this case, the internet, but um, kind of makes things look nice. You can have a little picture for everyone that logs into your system. Anyways, light DN's cool. Um, I actually, when I went into this, I was pretty convinced that uh, I would just use LY if I was gonna use anything at all. That light DM theme was pretty cool. I don't know, I'm gonna try out a cute few of these, drive them, and uh, I'll just give you an update in the video. Uh, hopefully that was fun for some people, and hopefully I didn't just record a two hour video that I have to sit through and edit. But uh, thanks for watching everybody. If you're looking for a VPN, check out Pure VPN. See you in the next one.